Hello everyone, this is Adobe Kitty here, and we're here playing Stardew Valley. I've actually played quite a lot of the game before, but um, I'm still learning new things about it every day. So let's get going and start a new file. Uh, we are a girl. Let's name her Adobe Chan. Farm name. Double farm. Favorite thing. Oh, I discovered that uh, it's a small secret in the game where if you put in concerned ape as your favorite thing, that you'll have more of a um, more energy. And um, I've played with a dog before, so let's play with the cat this time. See if it's any different. so many skin colors. I find myself always needing some kind of ore, so... Let's try this one. We haven't played this one yet, but I've played the standard farm quite a few times already. And we'll just stick to no accessories for now. So let's see if that secret actually worked. And for my very special granddaughter. I want you to have the sealed envelope. Okay. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the bur burden of modern life. I already kind of feel that way. Um, and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Okay, well, I'm ready for it now, so... Now let Grandpa rest. 20 years later! Just, you know, XX. 
means 20. Work. Join us and thrive at Joja. Smile, you're with Joja. Oh. Hey, 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 it's Woody. And he's over there, like, spiked up in all those pills. And I'm over here dying. And the guy over there, he's a, he's a skeleton. That sucks. He, he died on the job. See, see, this is why, this is why corporations aren't always good. I'm ready. I'm ready for that envelope. I'm, I'm tired of life. I'm tired of modern day life. Let's see, let's see what you got for me, Grandpa. Dear Adobachan, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy adobo farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Sure. Ah. I wish this would happen in real life. Some, where some, some grandpa or grandma just, just gives me some fire, and I could just move there and be a farmer. Have a quiet life. But, no. No, no such uh, grandparent exists in my real world. <laughs> but check out the view, man. It's a pretty awesome view. And some awesome pixel art. And only one guy made this whole game. It's pretty incredible. It took him four years to make, but he did it. It's a pretty awesome game. Hello, Robin. Hello, you must be a double chan. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tightening things up for your arrival. The farm's right over there, if you'll follow me. What do you think? Should I should I do voices for each character? There's, there's a lot of people here. This is a double farm. Oh, no! It's so overgrown! Oh, it's actually... It's a neat little landscape. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I like that there's steps, like, right in front of the house. And here we are, your new home. This actually gives me some, uh some challenge on how to design the farm. Ah, the new farmer! Hey, turns out Lewis is still alive. Grandpa says hi. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic. That's one way to put it. Hey, don't be rude. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Your face is crusty. Rude. That's right, Louis. Very rude. Don't listen to her, Double Chan. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you can buy one of her house upgrades. Ha. Ha. Hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. And yeah, it's pretty typical of farming games like Ruin Factory and Harvest Moon, which I assume is what inspired this game. Well, good luck! Hey, okay, bye, Lewis. Bye, Robin. <laughs> we just have a standard rooster that we can never find. Um, I didn't play the game that long. Um, every time I've tried, it's been about... Oh, the house looks different! Lost move, shift. It looks different. I like it. It's, it's got the pickaxe on the wall. 
The floor is different. We got a gemstone right here. Ooh, this is the this is the tea table. I I had to change the house before to get it, but I did quite a bit of chaining. What's what's this? I don't know what what is this? Is this a bell? I I can't interact with it. Okay. Parsnip seeds. New journal entry. You receive 15 partner seeds. Here's a little something to get you started, Mary Lewis. Okay. Introductions. It'd be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Okay. That that might take some time. So there's 28 people. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then you use seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Cultivate and harvest and parsnip. Okay, it's gonna take some days as well. Okay. It's so neat! Look at it. So I could just like kneel right here and watch a TV. Does it doesn't need doesn't need a table. I'm gonna keep that going so the house is all nice and toasty when I get home. It's so neat! So I'm just like a little tatami mat to go and sit down on. That's okay. This is completely different from how I played it before. I like it. Okay. So, the bin right here. Got this spot here that I don't know what for. Um, got our farm that's super overgrown. So let's uh, fix that. So we already start with our basic tools, but we have to upgrade that later so that we can take care of the bigger things like giant logs and tree stumps so I'm gonna clear out quite a bit here and nobody wakes up till around 9 in this town so we should be good for quite a bit and I, I still haven't figured out what these things are for so maybe maybe it's there for decoration or maybe it's actually meant for something later. I um, guess we'll find out together. Let's see. And I might make a little, um, a little spot for trees to where I could, um, I'll just keep them up. Because they require quite a bit of maintenance since they grow so fast. And they drop seeds constantly next to each other. I made the mistake of I made the mistake of not maintaining a whole part of the farm once and then it was just trees next to each other with with no space to walk because they're like so close to each other. Like these this grass right here, just so close to each other. It's ridiculous. I'm not gonna bother um, editing these too much and basically just show you the whole journey with no editing. That'd be kinda nice, wouldn't it? It's pretty hard to find time to stream. So I'm just gonna record them. Let's see, how many seats do I have? 15. Do it all in a neat line. Inventory full. What? Oh, it's mud. Okay, so I think I have enough to make chests. Let's put that coal down there for now. And make a chest. Let's put that in our handy dandy little Japanese slash like. I don't know what, what style this is, but I'll get better floors later. Let's put our chest. Um, mm, actually, let's keep the chest in there for now. And just just move. Just move move the place. I can't move my TV. What the hell? Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forest to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Fortune teller. Welcome to Welwick's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, will you come to the right place? 
The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their play their best to make our life difficult. It's pretty difficult already, considering how outgrown, overgrown this uh, farm is. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day. Oh, wonderful. I don't have the water tomorrow. That's nice. Let's see. Uh, I can't even move my furniture. This is so full. Okay. Um, let's put it there. And let's put our sap. And this stuff in there. And now we can move our furniture. Let's move the TV. Why can't I move the TV? That's that's dumb. That's dumb. I, I don't like that. All right, fine, fine. I'll just keep things where they are. Uh, I don't want to move the crystal. I want to move this. This. Right there, and this right here. Yeah, that's not. That's not. Okay, let's get that mud. I do not have the experience nor the necessary stuff to make myself um mm -hmm. to make myself some sprinklers yet, so we'll just use all the spaces. That's fine. I'm not trying to do a speed run of this, so I'm just gonna be chill about it and see where where this goes. Oh, wait, mix seeds. Let's put that in there too. Let's put this mud back in here. Oh, it's already two. So people should be awake. I'm gonna go say hi to people. What's down here? Oh, it's more overgrown parts. Okay, it's, it's gonna take a minute, so. They say it was gonna be a challenge. On the bus, can't go on the bus. What's this? The bus to Calco Desert is out of service. Okay. And there's this, and there's this. We can dandelions. Oh. Oh, found a book. You found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. Cool. Oh, those little spots with the worms are supposed to be secret spots. But most of the time I just get mud from there. But that's fine. That's fine. What's this? So Sunday is Louis's birthday. So you gotta keep that in mind. And this is the general store. Leia. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Yes, it is. Oh shit. Hey, it's Mr. Dobochan, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Cool. How much is your backpack? 2,000. Okay, I'm gonna work our way to that one. Here's the doctor's office. What? Oh. Oh, we were too late. Oh well. You, lady, talk to me. Hello, you must be a double child, a new farmer. I'm Caroline. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Emily. Where did she go? Oh. Emily. Oh, I can read it in your face. You're gonna love it here in Falcon Town. If you're looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. It's where I work. Yeah, I figured that's why you came here. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Startup Saloon. Cool. Nice to meet you, Gus. Hey, you're a new girl, huh? I think you're going to get along great. I'm Alex. Okay, hello, Alex. Hmm, I 
It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Okay, George. Bye. Mean. Mean old man. That's okay. I assume that just comes with age. Hey, kid. Name's Pam. Hello, Pam. Jeez. You guys did not treat the space great. Look at this. It's a mess. Ah. Uh, Granny. I need to talk to you. Why, well, hello. Welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Call you granny. Everything's closed by now since it's five. In little towns, so everything closes at five. Which is sad. It's always weird to me when I come someplace and it's closed at this time. It's like I'm not used to anything ever being closed. It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do treasure hunting, huh? What? This is a book by Marnie. Animals are very sensitive. They like to be pet every day and prefer to eat grass outdoors than dry hay. They don't like being outside in the rain, though. Happy animals produce higher quality products. But yeah, I live somewhere where nothing's ever closed, so it's weird when I do find a place that's closed. People need need some uh, some bricks sometimes in life, you know. Oh, Elliot, no! Damn it, I missed him. Mm -hmm. Oh well. There's no more seashells. See, mud. Half the time, it's just gonna be mud. Graveyard. I still haven't unlocked the sewers because really that requires you to donate quite a lot of stuff to the museum. Report card name Vincent. Reading C, spelling D, math C, social studies B, art B, sports A. Vince is a good boy, but he can he could make do with a little more studying. Penny. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Hello, Jody. And I can't go into the rooms because our friendship isn't high enough. Oh, let's go back to the saloon. There might be more people there now that it's getting later in the day. not that many, that much more people. I don't know you, why are you talking to me? What about kiddos? Are they here? No, the kiddos are not here. Clint? Er, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Okay. I met everyone in here. I guess we'll go home for now and we'll sell what we found. I don't know about this wall just yet. It's, I don't like the brick. Oh well. We'll have more options later. Let's go to sleep for now. Okay, cool. And that was day one. I 
think this is a good place to stop for now. And until next time, we'll see you back soon on Stardew Valley. Bye-bye!